Hello, good morning friends. Welcome back to your favorite channel Code One Digest. Today in this video, we will see the Spring Boot microservice project with MongoDB. We will create a Spring Boot microservice project step by step and connect it with the MongoDB. I'll teach you how to install MongoDB, how to configure MongoDB, how to connect MongoDB. So stay with me till end of the video. We will create a Spring Boot microservices and will connect with MongoDB and perform certain operations. This is going to be very exciting. So stay till end of the video. Oh, I'm so excited. Friends, before we proceed in this video, I want you to subscribe my channel to grow Code One Digest family. Friends, I'm creating a lot of quality contents for you, but I'm not getting subscribers. I want you to like, share and subscribe my channel so that I can grow Code One Digest family. Thank you. Today we will learn a Spring Boot microservice with MongoDB. First, what you have to do is you have to download the MongoDB if you don't have MongoDB. So install the MongoDB first. So you can download it from this website. Just search download MongoDB and you can go to this website and download that for your operating system. Yeah. From this page, you can download 6.0.3 is the latest current version and you can select the platform whether it is Mac or Windows and then download it. Along with it, once you download this, you also have to download MongoDB Compass. Compass is MongoDB GUI tool. MongoDB GUI tool will help us in exploring the databases, creating the data, viewing the data. Please download the software MongoDB and MongoDB Compass. Okay, friends. If you have downloaded MongoDB and MongoDB Compass, then open MongoDB Compass. If you are using Windows platform, then search for MongoDB Compass.exe file and click it. If you are using Mac platform, then you have to go in applications and search for MongoDB Compass. Click on that icon. Once you open MongoDB Compass, then you will be shown this screen here what you have is a connection string so this is the basic url to connect to mongodb so mongodb localhost 27017 friends always remember the default port of mongodb is 27017 just click on the connect button you will see the database is connected to localhost 27017 and you will see some of the databases are already there. Now, what we'll do is we'll create new database for this demo. Let's create database. In the database name field, give a name of your database. I am giving code one digest hyphen spring boot hyphen mongodb demo. And you have to give a collection name. Collection name is like a table name in RDBMS. So I will give a collection name that is customer right okay if you see the database is created and we have a customer table here now click on this add data to insert our first document okay let's do that we'll have name property let's say pavan comma then we'll have age let's say 32 then we'll have a role we'll say manager and just click insert if you see an object is created with name pavan age 32 and role manager now we'll go to our project and then we'll connect our spring boot microservice project with this mongodb so i have opened the intellij id now and you can see I have this microservice demo project. I'll share this project in my GitHub repository. The URL is given on your screen and also provided in a description section. But you can take any microservice or Spring Boot project and you can follow me from here. Now what we'll do is, first of all, you have to open a pom.xml and insert this dependency mongodb dependency so that we'll have 
drivers and all the libraries in our project related to MongoDB to connect MongoDB and to operate on MongoDB. So you have to have this dependency in your pom.xml file org.springframework.boot and spring-boot-starter-data-mongodb. So once you add this dependency then just reload your pom.xml reload your project so that all the dependencies are downloaded. Once you are done with this step then create a domain object that is the information that we want to save in database as I said we will have a domain object like customer and in the customer we will have an ID then we'll have a name we have a role and we have a age we'll operate on these four attributes in this demo okay once you create this domain object as per your requirement then create a new package called repository inside a repository create an interface customer repository always remember friends your repository must be unique for every domain object you might have two three four five six whatever number of domain objects you have you might have a user you might have an order you might have a customer you might have something like that so create separate repository to operate on those domain objects and always have a separate collection for those domain object in your mongodb so what i have done is i have created this customer repository interface extending mongo repository okay so this is coming from our mongodb dependency that we have added in pom.xml you have to tell that what is the domain object you are operating on so our domain object is customer here that we have created just before this then we'll define few operations here like i want to search my customer by name so i want to write a method here find my name because name is a property here in the customer and find my role role is also a property in a customer id i don't have to define here because id is by default provided in this repository so what i'm saying is i want to search my customer by name by role and id is already given if you go and see the interface implementation by id is already provided so find by name and find by role will define here in this interface once you have created your repository interface then create a package service okay and that service will create one service class that means business layer class customer service what we are seeing here is customer service and define it as a service in spring boot you would know what is the meaning of component what is service what is repository so create a customer service with a notation service SLF4j I am adding this is coming from Lombok for my logging purpose so that I can log the information for loggers and in this service class you define an object of customer repository create an instance customer repository and do a auto wiring here use auto wired we'll create a method get customer by name okay it will take name as an input and it will return a list of customers because multiple customers with the same name hence we are returning a list of customers not just one customer we are actually returning a list of customers you can put some log statements that getting the customer from repository for this name and then you have to call this method on this customer repository that we have created customer repository that find by name i will do find by name and pass the name here so that it will perform a search in a repository and get me all the customers where this name is matching and i'm catching that into a list of customer because it is returning a customer object if you remember at repository layer at repository class we said that this repository customer repository will operate on this domain object customer so it will return a customer list of customer here also we have defined it will return a list of customer right so once 
the list of customer is there i am just checking if this customer list is empty or not this is for creating a appropriate response for the user so if the list is empty i am just returning a empty list if this list is not empty then control will come to line 32 and it will log the message that found this many customers by name these right and then finally i am returning a customer list with me friends clear now what we'll do is we'll create customer controller how we will get a request from a user for that we have to write a rest controller that is our customer controller what we'll do is here i'm defining a class customer controller of type rest controller okay put a notation of rest controller on top of this class so that a spring boot know that this is the kind of a restful controller here i am defining an object of customer service that we have created just before this and i am auto wiring it with this controller right and defining a method here get customer by name with a get endpoint where slash customers slash name okay here i am reading this name from a path variable okay a direct path variable is string name and i'm logging that getting the customer by this name here now at line number 21 i am using customer service object to call a method that we have created just before this okay get customer by name and i am passing that name here once i pass this name it will give me a list of customers this list may have customer or this list may be an empty list logging a message here received this many customers by name and then printing it got it so how we have stitched the flow the request will come to the controller controller will call to the service class and service class is calling that is our business layer is calling the repository layer to get a customer with this name if it finds the customer well and good we are returning it here if it is not finding any customer with this name we are returning an empty list okay friends before we run our application we have to define our database connection string in our properties file in the resource folder open your application.properties file give spring.data.mongodb.host localhost spring.data.mongodb.port 27017 remember i told you this is the default port if you are using custom port give the custom port here and spring.data.mongodb.database give the database name here what we'll do is we'll run our application and see if it is connecting to database so open your main spring application class okay and right click and say run let's say if it able to connect to database compiling the code yeah okay it says it has started the application successfully i don't see any error it says opening connection so it says it is successfully started now we will test our endpoint in our postman our application is running on 8081 port we'll go to the postman and pre prepare a request call here the postman select a get method then write HTTP localhost 8081 customers pavan if you remember we have inserted one user with name pavan in our mongodb customer table hence we are making the call with pavan now let's fire this call and see what happens here we go we got a response and if we can see the logs we f it says found one customer by name pavan right now let's say if we fire with some other user what happens and this user doesn't exist in our database we got empty array we, we don't have any data now let's see 
how to insert a customer into our database so this is my service layer class customer service i have written another method we call it add customer it is taking customer as the input parameter and calling customer repository dot insert with a customer and logging the messages and once that insert operation is successful it is returning the same customer okay friends now let's see the customer controller class in this class i have written a new method add customer with an endpoint customers save in this method i am taking input in a form of request body and the input will come in in form of customer object on receiving that i am calling the add customer method of customer service class on calling this method customer service will call insert method on a repository and it will save the customer so now let's try create some customers through postman now we'll test this endpoint as of now in the database we don't have any other user we just have one customer here power now we'll test this endpoint and try to insert few customers okay friends now we'll hit this save endpoint and we'll insert this customer into the database i am creating this customer with id this name john role employee age 34 let hit the send button yeah it says 200 that means the creation is successful the customer is created successfully let's see the logs so it says adding customer john to database successfully let's see in database what we have now let's refresh so now we have two customers one is pavan and one is john let's hit our get endpoint to get this customer yeah so we are getting that customer that means our get and post endpoints both are working fine and our application our spring boot application is able to interact with database so let me summarize quickly this video friends so first what we have done is in the pom.xml we have added a mongo db dependencies then we have written the repository layer our interface which is extending the mongo repository then we created our service class where we have added get customer and add customer method here we are using our customer repository that we have defined and on that repository we are performing operation find by name and insert then we have created our controller class where we have defined the endpoint get customer by name and save customers now in the properties file we have given our database configuration localhost and the default port is 27017 and this is our database name and then finally we tested both get customer and add customer endpoints friends if you like this video so give it a thumbs up and share it with all your friends and colleagues friends subscribe my channel for the latest videos on technology and do not forget to click on the bell icon for the latest video notification on programming and technology related videos thank you